what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Thursday, during the funeral of civil rights icon John Lewis, former President Bill Clinton fixed his crime bill ass mouth to say, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee lost its way under the leadership of Stokely Carmichael, who later changed his name to Kwame Toure. This is what he said in regards to John Lewis. Just three years later, he lost the leadership of SNCC to Stokely Carmichael because it was a pretty good job for a guy that young and come from Troy, Alabama. It must have been painful to lose, but he showed as a young man there are some things that you just cannot do to hang on to a position because if you do, then you won't be who you are anymore. And I say there were two or three years there where the movement went a little too far towards Stokely, but in the end, John Lewis prevailed. Family, why in the hell did dude have to mention Stokely Carmichael's name in such a negative way? Why did he try to put a smear on Stokely's good name? Stokely Carmichael was doing the work. John Lewis was over here doing whatever the hell he was doing. But Stokely Carmichael was doing the work. Stokely Carmichael was putting in work. Stokely Carmichael was not there just getting beat in the head and letting the motherfucker make it. He wasn't doing that. Stokely Carmichael was body body. So He's at a civil rights leader funeral. And he brings up another civil rights leader and takes a dump on his name. Why would he try to add a personal grievance at a place where people are grieving? What's up with that, Bill? See, some of y'all gave Bill a pass because he played that damn saxophone on Arsenio Hall. Oh, yeah, he could come to the cookout anytime. That's all he did. He played, the, he played the sax on Arsenio Hall in 92, and two years later, he signed that crime bill that decimated the black community. But, you know, this is the first black president. Homie don't think so. There was no reason at all for him to smear Stokely Carmichael's name. Who in the hell goes to a funeral to talk shit about their rivals? I didn't even know he had a beef with Stokely, but it makes sense. Because Bill is a good old boy. He just know how to, you know, play the game. He know how to play the game to get to the blacks. Shuck and jive, you know, play the sax. Say what he got to say to get the blacks, you know. Kind of like what Hillary did when she pulled out the hot sauce. I bet her and Bill Clinton went over that. They probably was having a conversation. And she was like, well, well honey, what do you think I should do? Well, I think you should, you got to do something. You got to do a prop because, you know, the blacks like props. You got to do something really, really soulful. Really soulful, Hillary. You got to do something soulful. Well, Bill, I can't play the damn sax like you. I, I, I don't play instruments. I don't know what, what to do. You know what would be really good? <laughs> if you pulled out some hot sauce. That blacks love hot sauce. It don't get no blacker than that. And here she come on the Breakfast Club, pulling out some damn hot sauce out of her purse. <laughs> it 
It's pathetic, man. I don't know what's more pathetic. She pandering to, to black people to get the black vote, patronizing black people, or black people allowing it to happen. Man, Bill Clinton have no space to talk about anybody's morals. This dude, whole career has been questionable. Everything about him, he has never been righteous. Some people are just now seeing that. But you know, you know how when people get older, they start saying more stuff where they don't just, they really don't really think about what they're saying or they just don't give a damn who likes it or not. And I, I don't know which one is Bill. Maybe it's a little bit of both. But he's at that point to where if he's thinking it, he pretty much says it. Same thing with Joe Biden. Bill Clinton ain't no different than the dudes on the other side of the aisle. He just know how to play the game a little better. He's just a little bit more covert you know, with his racism. He's every bit of a Donald Trump. I'm not saying as far as like being all uncouth and just saying anything, blurting out stuff, but he got that same supremacist mentality. Yeah, you can tell how he talk. You can listen to him when he talk especially when he's addressing a black audience. He likes to talk to people like they're kids. Pay attention to what I'm saying, fam. You're going to catch it next time. Even if you go check out an old, a old speech of him talking to a predominantly black audience, you can say whatever you want to say about Bill Clinton. But I just don't believe you can defend somebody who cannot be defended. i give you a chance to give it a shot. Explain to me, why is it that Bill Clinton's name keeps popping up with Jeffrey Epstein's? No more talk. What the haters talking about?